and welcome back to my channel. Okay, today I have a few tips I want to share with you. If you can see the screen is 1036 odd and it's generated from a total of 11 games. So as usual, I'll be calling out the games and the option I've selected. Also, I'll be mentioning the alternative options if available. So, before that, I would like to appeal to those of you that always view our video, that are yet to subscribe, and for those that are coming across our video or channel for the first time, please do well to subscribe. Just hit the subscription button. Do not take you anything. Do not even take up to a minute. Click on subscription button and also the bell icon beside it so that you get notified whenever we upload fresh video. Trust me, you have a lot to benefit from this. We always drop tips like this often and on, and also our tips are okay, quite reliable. So I'm going to go ahead to read this out as I screw up. I just want to remind you that this is my personal opinion. You are expected to run your own research and make your own decisions don't just make your decisions based on the things we give out here is my opinion i'm just sharing it with you so the first one we have here is burning more to go up against chelsea actually i expect chelsea to win this game but it's quite a big risk to take because of considering the fact that from luck party still yet to win a game in six different matches and that's a quite i concern. So the poor run of form for Chelsea going up against a team like Bournemouth, I wouldn't say Chelsea will win, and I wouldn't say Bournemouth will win. So I decided to go for corner kicks. So what I have here is over some corner kicks. I if you can go for I used them for the past 15 games now. I've done over 12 5 cards. So going up again um, for card over 2.5 is okay. Total going up against the Palace. We have um, over one point goals. Actually, I expect both sides to score, considering the fact that both teams are good in scoring. I mean, of late, Crystal Palace have been banging goals and Tottenham as well. So I expect both teams to score. Alternatively, here is the option here of 1.5. That's the option. Liverpool going up against Brentford. I see Brentford scoring goal and I also see Liverpool scoring. So I go for about 2.5 goals. Alternatively, you can go for both teams to score. And if you are into single bet, you can go for Brentford striker, Tony, to score at least one goal. So that's the options for that particular fixture. I have Wolves going up against Aston Villa. Actually, I expect Aston Villa to win this game, considering the fact that they are in a very good form. Only losing one matches in the games. So I expect... Aston Villa to dominate. So I go for Aston Villa to win outrightly. That's the option I've selected. But you can go for Aston Villa to win or you can go for the for Aston Villa. So we have Borussia Mönchengladbach going up against Borussia from Chaman Bundesliga. I expect Mönchengladbach to win. Alternatively, you can go for John Obed for Mönchengladbach or Mönchengladbach to win either half. Then I have Wada Bremen going up against Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich have not been on good form away, but still, I expect them to win this game. For the past five games, Bayern Munich have always done both teams to score. Aside from the Champions League match against Manchester City at Etihad, all other games they've done over um, both teams to score. So, I expect both teams to score as well, and I also expect Bayern Munich to win the game. I've Febo going up against Leipzig. Over 1.5 is a good option, but the option I've selected here is for both teams to have at least one goal. I have Roma going up against Inter Milan. It's a game that is very dicey. No one can really say this is the outcome of the game, but I expect at least two goals. Though Roma has been good defensively, but Inter Milan, we know, can score goals. So, I expect both sides to have at least one goal, but over 1.5 is the ideal prediction for that. I have Rams going up against Lily. I expect Lily to win the game away. Well, it's a very harsh decision to make, 
Alternatively, you can go for over three, um, 7.5 corner kick and over 2.5 card for that particular fixture. I have a trend going up against EA going Gamp. I've, I see over 2.5 goals from this fixture. I have I, Iron going up against Girondins Bodos. I expect over 2.5 goals as well. Okay, those two games I mentioned are from French Female League. So, you can check it there. Okay, I have Austria lost going up against SV Ray. That's from Austria Bundesliga. I spent over 2.5 goals. Alternatively, you can go for 1.5 for less risk game. Okay, I have um, Stadar Liege going up against Gent from Belgium. I spent over 2.5 goals. I have Westilo going up against Club Bush. I spent over 2.5 goals from that fixture. Now on the Italian um, Egyptian league, I have Pyramid going up against Ishmaele. Actually, in this fixture, I expect both sides to have at least one goal. But the option I've selected here, if you can see the screen, is over 1.5 goals. Okay, Benfica at home against Braga. I expect Benfica to win attractively. Alternatively, you can go for Benfica to win either half. Kishmi going up against Dynamo Kiev from Russia League. I expect Dynamo and Moscow rather to win the game. Okay, I have um, Dynamo Moscow going up against Krasnoda. That's the female league of Russia. I expect Ramos Moscow to win. Now on um, Spanish League, that's the female league. I have Atletico Madrid going against Levante. I expect Atletico Madrid to win at home. Madrid CCF going up against Alham CF Feminino. I expect Madrid CCF to win. Real Sociedad going up against FC Barcelona ladies. I expect over 2.5 goals. Okay, I'm going to go ahead to book this. For those that always ask for booking code, I'm here. It's A9 hit 5A99B. Okay, that's the games anyway and the options I've made on each one of them. So, for those of you that always come around to view our video, I really appreciate you all. And for those of you that are yet to subscribe, kindly do so now. And don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Don't forget to use the comment section to air your opinion. Like I said, it's my personal opinion. Your opinion is quite needed so that it can help people make a better decision. So share your thoughts on the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe very very important thank you for coming around thank you for always viewing our videos thank you for always supporting us and i really appreciate i say god bless you and good luck